As recruiting experts, we spend our days talking to candidates and clients. A question we're often asked is, what does it take to become a leader in the HR industry? Aspiring HR directors want to know, what do I need to develop now to take advantage of opportunities in the future? To answer that question, we've launched our research paper, The DNA of an HRD, in which we provide insight into the path that Australian and New Zealand HR directors have taken in their careers. After interviewing more than 460 HR leaders face-to-face, -face, we found it challenging to define any HRD as typical, as the role is so broad and varies greatly from organisation to organisation. We did, however, find some commonalities amongst the HRDs interviewed, which has allowed us to formulate the DNA of an HRD. We found that an overwhelming majority, 88% in fact, possess a bachelor degree, though interestingly, only 24% of them hold an HR degree and 4% a psychology degree. Most HRDs haven't always worked in HR, but once they enter, they typically gain additional qualifications and are committed to their ongoing learning and development. Six out of 10 HRDs have more than 15 years experience in HR, and many have international experience. 96% of those who have worked overseas told us that this international exposure has benefited their career. Those interviewed told us that they possess sound stakeholder engagement skills and are commercially aware. They're resilient and credible and like to network to share ideas and learn from their peer group. It's fantastic to discover that when looking back on their time, the majority see it as a very rewarding career. 68% would still choose to be an HR director today if they had their time over. We hope you enjoy reading our report and find some insight into what it takes to become a leader in the HR industry. Make sure you get your copy of the DNA of an HRD. Go to haze.com.au slash HRD or haze.net.nz slash HRD for more information.